being healthy is what every human being wants. Many countries have been trying to develop their public health systems to make their people healthy according to the conditions and needs of such countries. For Thailand, the development of public health, including health care systems, had been undertaken continuously for a long time until it reached the important turning point that was the launch of the Universal Coverage of Health Care, or UC Scheme. The purpose of the UC Scheme is to ensure that all the Thai people will have access to essential health services with good quality in the thorough and equitable manner. In addition, the UC Scheme has been found to be able to decrease the health spending of the households and the people so that they will not be impoverished due to catastrophic medical expenses when ill, according to the intent of the National Health Security Health Act of 2002. In order to receive health services under the Thai public health system, no matter where you are at a state or private health facility, at any level, the first step everyone does is to check his or her health insurance eligibility under one of the three schemes for all Thai citizens. The Civil Servant Medical Benefit Scheme, the Social Security Scheme, and the Universal Coverage of Health Care or UC Scheme. The same principle applies to this place, Bang Yai Hospital, reflecting the picture of the Thai healthcare system. Bang Yai Hospital is a community hospital at the district level in Nontaburi Province, located next to Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. The hospital serves diverse groups of population with various types of medical services as a secondary level hospital. The healthcare eligibility for most people coming for medical services at this hospital is the UC scheme. The people get all kinds of services according to their eligibility, for which they have to show their gold cards or ID cards so that their eligibility can be confirmed. In such a process, the patient's personal information will be keyed into the computer and then the patient's healthcare eligibility will appear on the computer screen indicating the medical expenses for certain kinds of which the patient needs to pay for the portion that is not covered by his or her insurance scheme. Such information is derived from the health information technology system that has been developed in parallel with that for health care delivery of the country. Here is the interface of the personal identification ID card system for all Thai citizens by law, which requires that every Thai citizen has to have a 13-digit personal identification number issued by the Department of Provincial Administration of the Ministry of Interior. In the ID card, the information about each individual's health care eligibility will be stored and such eligibility can be examined. For each medical or health facility, no matter which level it is at, their work does not end when the medical care is delivered as data entry and processing is to be done simultaneously. Part of the work involves receiving and transmitting data on medical treatment and use of medicines that have to be collected, recorded and entered into the system. And another important part is the treatment data to be used for making a claim for medical expenses, which will become the facility's revenue. Such data will be sent to the respective health insurance fund. This is the National Health Security Office, one of the three major health insurance funds 
currently covering most of the Thai people. The information technology has been designed in such a way that the data are stored at the same place at the central level. In principle, as soon as the health facility enters the data, the data will be transmitted and stored at this data center for analysis and segregation to be forwarded to various units of the National Health Security Office and importantly for disbursement of money to be paid to various health facilities. The management of the IT system is centralized at one place, managing the data on NHSO business transactions, including the fund management plan, registration of health facilities under the UC scheme, registration of eligible persons, fund management, service quality assurance, and protection of people's eligibility. Thailand is lucky as we are better off in terms of civil registration. We have got the Department of Provincial Administration that has already had in place the population database using the 13-digit ID system for Thai citizens. As a result, we can use that system as the base for registration under the UC scheme. This is our advantage. For any country wishing to develop a UC scheme, if there is a key for identifying each individual citizen, it will be easier to operate such a scheme. But for the officials working in the service system, there are also some reflections. Director, Bang Yai Hospital. It is good for Thailand to have several health insurance funds as all Thai people will have access to health care. But for health care providers, getting reimbursements from several funds would be more difficult as different funds have different requirements for details when we submit the claims. Having a good information system is very helpful, but in the future, all the funds should design and use the same system so that it will not be confusing for staff at the operating level. For us here, the National Health Security Office, in collaboration with the National Electronics and Technology Center, NECTEC, has a plan to develop the information system to minimize redundancy. In this connection, Bang Yai Hospital is also involved Currently, the utilization of information is not confined only to hospitals, but it is also used by primary care units as well as sub-district health promotion hospitals. This effort will be useful for planning and proactive work in the community. The major problem encountered in the UC scheme in our country is health facilities being unable to generate the information required by the users of information. In this connection, several agencies have to help each other. Another problem is that we don't have a mechanism to use as a common data set for each of the health insurance funds because the information system has not been designed to facilitate the linking of such data sets. What we would like to see at each health facility is the concept for developing and designing the information system for the service unit in such a format that we can see the entire organization with several datasets linked to each other in a seamless manner. If any health insurance fund asks for some data, the required data can be sent to such a fund without causing much burden to the data generating unit. These are the examples of the development of information system and information technology to respond to the management of the National Health Security Fund, essentially for planning, 
monitoring and evaluation and efficient management purposes.